Greetings, Commanders. This is Commander Mekin, and today we're going to be talking about the latest enemy introduced in Update 17, the Phagoid Banshee. The Banshee is armed with four repeater guns, two in the front and two in the tail, which are capable of independently tracking targets. These do moderate damage, but have a pretty long range and can be annoying. It also launches a barrage of sticky mines that track you all the way up to the last stretch of uh, arriving inbound. And they'll stick to any surface or item or you, including people and SRVs that they come into contact with. And these can do significant damage. They're probably the most damaging and dangerous attack the Banshees have on foot. The easiest way to defend against these is to keep moving. You can dodge them at the last minute, or you can move out of the way as there's a little delay before they explode. Banshees are found at Fargoid Spire sites and at certain settlements in occupied territory. They are always accompanied by revenants. They're quite fast, they'll start slow, but they'll reach pretty high speeds. And they're very, very tanky unless you hit their weak spots, that we'll get to in a moment. If you hit their, th their weak spots, they take about 15 G5 shotgun rounds to go down. Uh, their ammo rating, if you're shooting at them outside of the weak spots, is incredibly high. They have no shield. They also have no drops. All they will reward you with is a 1 million bond when they are destroyed. In addition to their main armament, Banshees come equipped with two very effective special attacks. The first special attack involves firing surface-to-air missiles that temporarily shut down your ship if they hit you. Fortunately, the shutdown effect is much shorter than that of interceptor shutdown fields. However, considering the fact that multiple Banshee missiles can hit you in rapid succession, that can still result in your ship being shut down for an extended period of time. The Fargoid Pulse Neutralizer, but not the traditional shutdown field neutralizer, will protect you against these. You will also get massive sur energy surge analytics when you get hit by these, which is nice since that is otherwise a material that requires you to go all the way to the heart of a mine stroke to get, and it's quite handy in acquiring the pulse neutralizer itself. Banshees also have what is probably the most effective point defense system in the game. They're able to shoot down multiple missiles, both coming from the ground and from the air, in a very effective manner. It is incredibly difficult to get barrage missiles past their point defense system, while it's possible, it takes an overwhelmingly number of such missiles to be able to reach them and hit them at all. This point defense system works against flak, it works against on-foot shot L6 rocket launchers, it works against the rocket launcher fired by the Scorpion SRV, and it works against most missiles, actually I think all missiles, fired by ships from the sky. Fortunately, these otherwise formidable Banshees have a weak spot. In fact, they have three weak spot in the form of three red sacks that sit on the underside of the Banshee itself. Furthermore, if you happen to be able to position yourself, usually on foot, right beneath them, their repeat guns cannot track you in that position, so you're effectively invulnerable to their damage. Using an Intimidator Manticore Plasma shotgun at short range is what I've personally found to work best. Um, aiming from right beneath them to their weak spots and just firing away makes short work of Banshees. Try to avoid using L6 rocket launchers and Scorpion rockets if at all possible. Those will not work from afar given the point defense system and using them at short range has unfortunate side effects which you can imagine. While you're underneath it, it can still fire its sticky mines so make sure to keep moving to avoid its mine barrage. Banshees can also be shot down from space. However, it takes a disproportionate amount of ammunition to do so, and I would personally not recommend it. So how do you fight Banshees? Well, first of all, you park your SRV in a safe spot. Then you get out on foot, ideally in a Dominator suit. You get your plasma shotgun out, and then you charge. You can still shoot at the Banshee from range, although you're practically going to be doing no damage, as you can see from here. While you're running towards it, see if you can dodge the sticky mines that it shoots at you. Um, and just keep going. Once you're under its belly, it can no longer realistically hit you. Then you can see its uh, weak points in the underbelly and fire away. Keep in mind, the Plasma Shotgun has a little bit of a travel time, so you need to lead the target based on how the Banshee is moving. If you're really hit it, as you can see, 
with a plasma shotgun firing away, Banshee's taking a disproportionate amount of damage. And there you go, Banshee down. As I mentioned, the Banshee does not really drop anything except for what like looks like a skull and some bone pieces. And obviously worth celebrating jumping on it. So glory to mankind, Commander Mechan, over and out.